the very beginning of a new era had just started in Biafran land and the joy must be amounted and celebrated in a proper order. Those who fail to understand the progress, those who fail to see the light in what we preach or what we have been preaching, would definitely start regretting it now because at the end of the day, Biafra has become something unimaginable, something progressive, something not to temper with. We must deliver our polling units in the right order. Now, uh, I got the news from the barrister that the United Nations has made a massive move, a massive move that will affect anybody who is a hater of Biafran, who is a hater of the Biafran people, who is a hater of the Biafran nation. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how you exist. Most importantly, our target remains at the ball. That this new this new uh, document that is released must face each and every one of them. Can I can I tell you something that they are holding the Nam de Kano? This is already two years and few days because the month of June made it two years that he was kidnapped. Yes, some of you that don't keep dates. Mazen Nam de Kano will survive this. Nelson Mandela survived it even after the court has sanctioned and cleared Nam de Kano clearly that this man has nothing to answer to the nigerian government what did they do they decided to keep him behind bars knowing fully well that what he he is what he he is a man who knows every secret of the zoologic republic but guess what the same beer friends they don't want to go the same beer friends they want to destroy the same beer friends they want to see fail will be the reason for their failure, will be the reason for their downfall, will be the reason why they will crash. Look at it. Take, take, Just take a look at it and see other tribes. The way House has hated the Igbos and they went and voted Buhari, even though Bilo Jonathan is not a, even an Igbo guy. But anybody, once you're not Yoruba, you're not Hausa, you're Igbo. Whether you're from the Middle Belt, whether you're from Benue, uh, whether you're from Akwa Ibo, whether you're from Delta, they don't care, you're an Igbo. Yeah. So, they used because of good lord jonathan they said buhari must end that day we have seen how they celebrated a total failure a man who they know that is not even buhari they are celebrating him why he, why they why he's running the system but the most important question here remains that these people will do everything they will do to stop biafra they will commit every atrocities they will commit, but Biafra will go. It took them three years. I can still remember the word of that house I man. It took them three years to stop the Biafran people, but they couldn't even stop the Biafran people. Now it's taking them another 50 something years or 60 years to refuse the existing of Biafra. They will still not stop the existing. The right time will come, Biafrans will go. See, there is no two words about it. If the right time will come and by that time even heaven and earth cannot stand against the will of god cannot stand against the order of the most high remember even israel stayed 425 years if i'm not exaggerating if i'm not mistaken pharaoh and his gang refused to let them go but when it was time when it was time when it was the appointed time hey the house of Pharaoh shaked. The house of Egypt shaked. Everywhere was shaking. Pharaoh had to say, please be going, be going, be going. This your problem is too much. It will get to that point. Remember the prophecy. Now, ever since that international bodies are, have been clamoring and saying that they need the maximum freedom of their friends and Biafra. It has not been very it has not been easy at all. It has been very, very difficult. How many Biafrans will die? How many Biafrans will be buried? How many Biafrans will go in for a crime they did not commit? And we watch these things unravel, we watch them happen, yet nobody is saying anything. Nobody is doing anything. But the quest to actualize Biafra remains in the voice of the people the pressure is getting worse here and this new government must 
do the need for because they are going to they will keep facing this IPOB issue. That is that is what Buhari faced. All of them, all of them couldn't rest because of one man called Nandikan. You cannot see with you. We don't die. We multiply. That is Biafrans for you. We don't die. We multiply. We have seen the kind of hatred they have where the Igbos are. But the funny thing remains is that the more they hate on us, the more they try to, you know, put put us down, the more we shine. They keep wondering, Kedi Fenda, Kedi, Kedi Feji Koronda, Kedi Feji Faraka, Kedi Feji Nda. Always progressing. Always progressing. Always progressing. And that's one important point we need to preach. We're not men of undisclosed knowledge. We have our says. We have where we are entering. We have the voice that we preach. And that's where all these things begin. That's where all this gospel starts from. The gospel of restoring Biafra to its permanent site. my mother. Now, it's either they release in them the kind of or they face the international criminal court. Look at those who destroyed the country. Look at those who killed their friends. None of them have been arrested because US and UK have their own benefit in this struggle, this suffering of their friends. They have a hand in this very struggle. This suffering of the people of Bia France. And one how someone said it took them three years to hold a nation down, yet they couldn't stop them. They couldn't stop us even after three years of look at look at Onicha. If they show if they had shown you the picture of Onicha after the Biafran war, you'll be surprised at what you are seeing at Onicha now. Men are go digging everywhere. If they, are, if they want another, who will give them another? That is Biafra for you.